I have gained another wonderful family and some of the best people I know. To them, I'm very, thank I'm very thankful for. <laughs> for they are big, for they are a big reason why you are the man you are today. To the wonderful man standing there beside you in spirit today, my love. I'm so very grateful that he raised the hardest working man I know. A responsible man who puts his family first and is the biggest goal getter I know. To the woman who loved him first, Doña Lourdes, gracias. Crear un hombre mar maravilloso. Sé que siempre juega y dice que usted no me regaló a Brian, que, que yo se lo quité, pero ahora que me casó con su hijo, le prometo que siempre lo voy a amar. Uh, le voy a amar con todo mi corazón y siempre lo voy a apoyar. My love, this is it. This is what marriage is all about. This is the merging of two families, the day we were, where one chapter of our, of our journey closes and one begins. From this day forward, it is not about I, but about us. It's where two people become one and where we learn that it is not about picking and choosing our battles, but to work through them and face them together. So today of all the things that I can promise to you in our marriage, I promise to laugh with you in good times and struggle alongside you in bad times. I promise to respect you and cherish you as an individual, a partner and an equal, knowing that we do not complete but complement each other. I promise to have patience and be there when you need me most. I promise that you can count on me as your honorary lifetime lending year and to give every obstacle we face all the fight I have in me and then some. I vow to face new decisions as a team and to offer forgiveness each and every day. I vow to keep updating our vows as we go because a set of vows can't cover a lifetime of growing and changing with you. Uh, raising children with you and falling more and more in love with you which is what I vow to do for the rest of my life. But last but not least a wise and the greatest man I've ever known, standing beside me in spirit today, held this scripture near and dear to his heart as I do now. It can be found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So always know that with God in our home and in our marriage, we will prevail all odds awaiting us. Stephanie, since the first day I laid eyes on you, I knew you were the one. You might not believe me, but it's the truth. I know it took some time for us to really get to know each other and become boyfriend and girlfriend, but it was worth the while. I was determined to make you my wife and look at us now. We are about to go on this journey together forever. And I couldn't be happier to have you, the woman I love, right here by my side. I promise to always hold you tight when times are rough. I promise to listen to you during hard times, to tell you I love you every night. I promise to make you laugh so that at random moments throughout your day, you can remember it and have something to laugh about all over again. I promise to make you happy to respect you to encourage you when you feel down. I promise to always be there for you in health and sickness, through sorrow and success for all the days of my life. I love you, Stephanie. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Only fools rushing. 
Take my heart.